The German Spitz and the Pomeranian share the same ancestry, descending from larger sled-pulling Arctic breeds they date back almost 6,000 years, and their history has been intertwined ever since. These guys originate from Germany where they were both traditionally used as herding and watch dogs, and although they are now more commonly found in family homes, they still make for a great watchdog with their piercing barking. At a quick glance, the German Spitz and the Pomeranian are similar-looking pups, however, upon closer inspection they are quite different in their appearance. Their temperament is very similar, as are most of the other factors surrounding them both. Let's take a closer look at what those differences are and get into the finer details. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. History Comparison the word, spitz, is an umbrella term used to describe many breeds of dogs who are stocky with heavy coats, who have erect ears and usually a pluming tail that carries up their back. Pomeranian is a direct descendant, or even just a, toy, version of the German spitz, and as such their history is closely entwined. German spitz. The German spitz was first documented in the 15th century in the area of Pomerania, and there they were used as farming watchdogs by the poorer members of society. It was in the 18th century that his popularity boomed thanks to visiting royal nobles who took a fancy to him. George I, King of England during the 18th century, had a German wife who was a big fan of the breed, as were all of her visiting friends who also brought their spitzes with them too. The German spitz population suffered a massive decline in numbers after World War I, but by breeding the Quichande with the Pomeranian, fanciers revived the middle's numbers once again. The German Spitz is a relatively new breed to America, and as such he is currently in the Foundation Stock Service Program, which allows rarer breeds to establish full recognizable status within the American Kennel Club AKC. Because of this he does not have a popularity rating to compare with the Pomeranian, and is much rarer in America. Pomeranian. The Pomeranian's name was taken from the province in Germany in which they were popular. It is believed that famous individuals, such as Michael Ango, favored the smallest spitz dogs, and Isaac Newton had a Pomeranian who is said to have eaten many of his manuscripts. Just like the German spitz, the Pomeranian became popular in the 18th century with English royalty, but the Pomeranians back then were much bigger and not as popular with the masses. This changed when Queen Victoria I stumbled across a 12-pound Pomeranian in Italy, and it then became her lifelong pastime to create much smaller Pomeranians, and eventually he was refined to the size that we know of today. Since then the Pomeranian with his smaller toy stature became an instant hit across the world, and the first Pomeranian to be entered into the AKC was in 1888. He is currently ranked as the 23rd most popular breed in America. The Pomeranian is also known as the Zwerg Spitz in many European countries. Appearance Comparison The German Spitz and the Pomeranian are small-sized pups, with the Pomeranian being the toy version. The German Spitz measures 12 to 15 inches from paw to shoulder, in both males and females, whereas the Pomeranian measures only 6 to 7 inches, again in both males and females. The German Spitz will weigh 24 to 26 pounds whereas the Pomeranian will weigh a tiny 3 to 7 pounds, again both weights are the same for both males and females in both breeds. As you can see from the numbers, the German Spitz can be up to 2 times taller and weigh up to 3 times more than the Pomeranian. After the significant size difference, the second biggest difference between them is their coat. They both have double coats which enabled them to keep warm whilst watching their herds and farms in Germany. However, the German Spitz's undercoat is soft and fluffy, and his outer coat is coarser and straighter. Whereas the Pomeranian's undercoat is short and dense, with his outer coat being finer longer fur, which gives him his fuzzball appearance, more so than the German Spitz. If you were to wet the fur of both the German Spitz and the Pomeranian, you would see just how much bigger the German Spitz is compared to the Pomeranian. The palms come in many different colors, including black. The German Spitz's tail is slightly curled to one side, whereas the Pomeranian has a heavily plumed tail that is set high and sits flat against his back. 
The Pomeranian has 18 standard colors that are recognized, whereas the German Spitz has just 8 recognized colors. They also have different shaped heads and muzzles. The German Spitz has a much longer muzzle that is one half of his skull, whereas the Pomeranian has a much shorter muzzle that is one third of his skull. The German Spitz's ears are triangle-shaped that are erect and always visible, compared to the Pomeranian's that are also erect, but they often disappear in his fluffy mane. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.